Katy Perry American singer-songwriter Catherine Elizabeth Hudson, known professionally as Katy Perry, is an American singer, songwriter, and television personality. Perry is one of the best-selling music artists of all time, having sold over 143 million units worldwide. Born, October 25, 1984, age 39 years, Santa Barbara, California, United States. Spouse, Russell Brand, M., 2010-2012. Partner, Orlando Bloom, 2016. Parents, Keith Hudson, Mary Perry. Height, 1.73 meters. Katy Perry was born Catherine Elizabeth Hudson on October 25, 1984, in Santa Barbara, California, to Mary Christine Hudson, née Perry, and Maurice Keith Hudson. She has a big sister named Angela and a little brother named David, and has English, Portuguese, German, Irish, and Scottish ancestry. Her mother's half-brother was director Frank Perry. Raised in a deeply religious family, Perry's first experience of performing was singing in church. A passion for music grew, and at the age of 15, Perry began visiting Nashville, gaining experience of songwriting and recording demos. She signed to a Christian record label, Red Hill, and recorded an album, under her birth name of Katie Hudson. The album was not a success. At age 17, she moved to Los Angeles and collaborated with producer Glenn Ballard, but was not able to secure a lasting record deal. Perry did sign to Columbia Records in 2004, but again this did not prove a success, and she was dropped. An executive at Columbia recommended Perry to the chairman of Virgin Records, Jason Flom, which resulted in her signing for Capital Music Group. She recorded her second album, One of the Boys, and in the spring of 2008 released the lead single, the controversial I Kissed a Girl. The song proved a smash, hitting the number one slot in several countries. Other hit singles followed and the album was a commercial success. Perry was now established as a pop superstar and cemented her position with the release of her next album, Teenage Dreams, which spawned more huge hits including California Girls and Firework. Many awards and music industry records followed. In 2012, Perry made the move into movies, releasing the documentary feature film Katy Perry, Part of Me, 2012. Katie has started her own record label called Metamorphosis Music and has signed her very first artist Ferris, who was signed to Capitol Records back in 2007 with Katy Perry. He had released an EP the same day that the record label news was released to the public. There is also a duet with Katy on his new EP, they are expected to be on tour together in North America June 22nd in Raleigh, North Carolina October 11 in Houston, Texas. Family Spouse Russell Brand, October 23, 2010, to July 16, 2012, divorced. Children Daisy Bloom Parents Mary Hudson Keith Hudson Relatives Angela Hudson, sibling David Daniel Hudson, sibling and Hudson, grandparent Robert C. Hudson, grandparent Frank Perry, aunt or uncle. Trademark. Colorful outfits and wigs. Often makes references to food in songs and or music videos. Love ballads. Powerful contralto vocal range. Trivia. Katie once described herself as a fatter version of Amy Winehouse and a skinnier version of Lily Allen. Later, Allen took offense to the statement and threatened to release Perry's personal phone number. When her single, Last Friday Night, TGIF, from her hit album Teenage Dream went to number one on the Billboard Hot 100 in August 2011, the album became only the second album after Michael Jackson's Bad to generate five number one singles. Perry became the first female artist to achieve this feat wrote and sold songs to Kelly Clarkson and Jesse James Decker. Her hit song, I Kissed a Girl, was partially inspired by actress Scarlett Johansson. Before Katie's mother Mary Hudson became an evangelical Christian preacher with husband Keith Hudson, she once dated rock icon Jimi Hendrix. Perry adopted the stage name Katie Perry because her real name, Katie Hudson, was too close to actress Kate Hudson. Perry is her mother's maiden name.
When growing up, she wasn't allowed to watch MTV. Parents Keith Hudson and wife Mary Hudson, née Perry, are both pastors. She's their middle child and has one older sister, Angela Hudson, and one younger brother, David Daniel Hudson. She can play acoustic guitar and electric guitar, has a cat named Kitty Pai. Cat has its own blog. Is close friends with Rihanna. She holds two Guinness Book World Record, Best Start on the U.S. Digital Chart by a Female Artist in 2010 and Best First Female with five number one U.S. singles from one album in 2013. Released an album in 2001 as Katie Hudson. Married Russell Brand in India. Was reportedly offered $20 million to join American Idol, 2002, S12th season in 2013 as a judge, but declined. On her 28th birthday, she had lunch with First Lady Michelle Obama. In 2009 while working on a magazine shoot, Katie had a chimp on set, which urinated all over her and forced her to take a shower in the middle of the shoot. Has a daughter, Daisy Bloom, B. August 26, 2020, with fiancé, Orlando Bloom. She has been in a relationship with Orlando Bloom since January 2016. They visited Pope Francis at the Vatican in April 2018. They got engaged on February 14, 2019. Best friends with actress Shannon Woodward. Her husband, Russell Brand, filed for divorce from her after a year of their marriage, December 30, 2011. Perry has the most number of followers on Twitter former Christian folk singer, turned pop singer. Growing up, Perry was only allowed to listen to gospel music. In 2005, Perry had several music videos for songs from her cancelled album filmed. Although the album was never released, all but three of its songs and their accompanying videos can be found on the internet if you search, A. Katy Perry. The actual title of the album is unknown. According to Nielsen Data, Katy Perry's Super Bowl 49 halftime show performance in 2015 was seen by 118.5 million viewers, making it the most watched halftime show ever. Surpasses the previous record holders, Bruno Mars, 115.3 million viewers. The first person to reach 100 million followers on Twitter, June 2017. She attended Dos Pueblos High School in Santa Barbara, California, before she dropped out of her freshman year to pursue her music career. Rank Pound 1 on Maxim Magazine's Hot 100 Women of 2010 list. Originally, Purry's Swish Swish, the first promotional single from the album Witness featuring Nicki Minaj, was thought to be a revenge track about Taylor Swift after Swift released Bad Blood. Perry later stated in an interview that this was not true and that Swish Swish was an anti-bullying anthem, April, the 3rd, 2020, expecting a baby girl with fiancé Orlando Bloom this summer. Katie's ancestry is 3 16 Portuguese, Katie's mother is of 3 8 Portuguese descent. Katie's other roots include English, German, Irish, and smaller amounts, to varying degrees, of Irish, Scottish, Scots-Irish, Northern Irish, Welsh, French, and remote Manx. Olive Man has a stepson, Flynn Bloom, be January the 6th, 2011, with fiancé, Orlando Bloom, niece of director Frank Perry. Perry has a younger sister, Angela Hudson, who was featured on the cover of the single, Birthday, released in 2014. She once had 13 cavities as a child. Is friends with Perez Hilton, Adam Lambert, Ellen DeGeneres, and Christina Million. Got engaged to Russell Brand during the Christmas holidays in 2009. They were dating since September 2009 was in an on-off relationship with singer John Mayer from 2012-2014. The two released a duet, together, called Who You Love, in 2013, March 5, 2020, revealed that she is pregnant in the music video for her new song, Never Worn White. The Baby on the Way will be the first for Perry with fiancé Orlando Bloom, she's due in the summer, is a natural blonde. At one time, she was often confused with Zooey Desanel, ranked pound three on Maxim's, Hot 100, of 2014 list, endorsed President Barack Obama for his 2008 presidency, voted pound 16 on Ask Men's Top 99, Most Desirable, Celebrity Women of 2012 list, has a younger brother, David Daniel Hudson, Aka Danny, and an older sister, Angela Hudson, frequent collaborator with Bonnie McKee, along with Kelly Clarkson, Katy Perry has sold to songs to Selena Gomez, Rock God, and That's More Like It, Katy's fourth album, Witness.
has been described as a personal album full of powerful feminist ballads to songs about romance, born at 7.58 a.m., PDT, was voted pound 8 in the 2011 Askman Top 99, Most Desirable Women, list. There was a seven-year gap between the release of her debut studio album, Katie Hudson, 2001, and her second studio album, One of the Boys, 2008, has seven tattoos, collects Barbie dolls. In 2011, Mattel honored her by commissioning a one-of-a-kind Barbie doll sculpted in her likeness, with her electric blue hair and cupcake dress, for an auction. The bidder won the doll for $3,250, with the proceeds going to charity. Quotes, if people want a role model, they can have Miley Cyrus, on who she wants to kiss, Scarlett Johansson before she gets married to Ryan Reynolds. She is a classic beauty. I love that 1940s pin-up look. Have I ever kissed a girl? Of course I have. I can't sing a song and not have done it. That'd be complete hypocrisy. I fancy Scarlett Johansson, Natalie Portman and Angelina Jolie, I'd definitely kiss them. On Rihanna, we're friends and we're both kind of on this crazy roller coaster, and it's nice to have good girlfriends. I pride myself on having cool chicks in my life, and she's a cool chick. On future husband Russell Brand, he's a genius and geniuses are both wonderful and delicate in the greatest way. On The X Factor UK, 2004, the most gorgeous judge is Cheryl. That woman is just edible. On Rihanna missing her wedding, I was upset she couldn't make it, but let me promise you, there was no one more upset about it than her. When you have an album coming out you don't have a spare second in the day, and you're answerable to the record company. She felt really bad she couldn't be there, but we're still the very best of friends. My girl organized the best bachelorette party ever, and I'll always love her to bits. Look, any couple in a serious relationship has that talk about babies, but we haven't decided when. Russell wants lots of children and I think there's something amazing about tons of kids running around. We probably won't have the talk again for a few years, it's important to enjoy each other before having babies. My singing is really important to me, but when children come along they'll be my main focus. I'd never put my career in front of my babies, it'd be a case of fitting jobs around them. On her song, I Kissed a Girl, the song was inspired by a friendship I had with a girl when I was 15, and I did kiss her. I was totally obsessed with her. She was beautiful, porcelain skin, perfect lips, and I still talk to her. But I've never told her the song is about her. I Kissed a Girl, was inspired, when I opened up a magazine and I saw a picture of Scarlett Johansson. I was with my boyfriend at the time, and I said to him, I'm not going to lie, if Scarlett Johansson walked into the room, and wanted to make out with me, I would make out with her. I hope you're okay with that. This is a really important time in my life. I can't just be the girl who's saying I kissed a girl. I have to leave a legacy. On her documentary Katy Perry, Part of Me, 2012, I wanted to show the entire operation. People just think I'm the girl wearing the ruby slippers. I wanted to show them at the end of the journey. I am the Oz as well. The number one issue for me is equal rights, whether it's being able to be equal in love, and being treated equally whether you have ovaries or not. Billboard, 2012, on her luncheon with First Lady Michelle Obama, 2012, now my birthday is complete. I remember hearing Killer Queen by Queen and falling down in what felt like slow motion, in my bed listening to the lyrics. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, this music is incredible. These lyrics speak to me, and that made me want to be, what I am. Queen's track, Killer Queen, made me discover music and helped me come into my own at the age of 15. The way Freddie Mercury delivered his lyrics just made me feel like a confident woman, I'd say his fingerprint is all over me in general. I get drunk, I pick my nose, I swear and I fart. I don't care, I'm not planning to become the President of the United States. When I was 15, I fell in love with a female friend. I thought she was beautiful, and wanted to be like her. She had such a huge impact on my life. But I never told her how I felt. I've told my boyfriend that if Scarlett Johansson wanted to go out with me, I'd ditch him immediately. Female beauty can be incredibly powerful. Actually, I'm obsessed with beautiful women and their elegance. I like the paradox of appearing innocent and sexy all at once. I think it's important to not just play the sexy card. Be sexy but be smart and sophisticated. There's times when you see other people who, the only reason why they have success is because they're just shock jocks, which works for a period of time. I haven't really taken off all my clothes yet. Yeah, I've done my fair share of, naked on a cotton candy cloud, situation, but everything is with a wink. It's not like, here's my vagina. I don't believe in a heaven or a hell, or an old man sitting on a throne. I believe in a higher power bigger than me, because that keeps me accountable. Accountability is rare to find, especially with people like myself.
because nobody wants to tell you something you don't want to hear. I'm not Buddhist, I'm not Hindu, I'm not Christian, but I still feel like I have a deep connection with God. I pray all the time, for self-control, for humility. There's a lot of gratitude in it. Just saying, thank you, sometimes is better than asking for things. People don't understand that I have a great relationship with my parents, like how that can exist. There isn't any judgment. They don't necessarily agree with everything I do but I don't necessarily agree with everything they do. They're at peace with, they pray for me is what they do. They're fascinated with the idea that they created someone who has this much attention on her. You know you're living right when you wake up, brush your hair, and confetti falls out. So put your rose-colored glasses on, and party on, 2008. Yeah, I made a joke about, being, a fatter version of Amy Winehouse, and a skinnier version of Lily Allen, earlier this year. I was just kind of joking and trying to be funny. I didn't mean anything by it. Comedians are not necessarily to be taken super seriously. I'm like a fatter version of Amy Winehouse and a skinnier version of Lily Allen. June 2010, some of Teenage Dream's content is a bit sugary sweet, but when you listen to the record head to toe I think it's completely appetizing. I didn't want to have just club songs. People are living real lives, working jobs, having relationships. There's definitely a bit more substance and perspective on this record. I'm stressed out with the wedding and I keep smoking to calm my nerves. I do it even though I know it is really bad for me, and I know I need to stop. Role models. A lot of people see me as a role model, but I'd like to kind of turn that around, and say I appreciate that but I'd like to be seen as an inspiration. Because a role model, I think, will fail you. Russell Brand. At first when I met him he wanted an equal, and I think a lot of times strong men do want an equal, but then they get that equal and they're like, I can't handle the equalness. He didn't like the atmosphere of me being the boss on tour. So that was really hurtful, and it was very controlling, which was upsetting. Pop stars exposing themselves for publicity, every boat is getting naked. I mean, I've been naked before, but I don't feel like I have to always get naked to be noticed. Divorcing Russell Brand. I felt a lot of responsibility for it ending, but then I found out the real truth which I can't necessarily disclose because I keep it locked in my safe for a rainy day. I let go and I was like, this isn't because of me, this is beyond me. So I have moved on from that. Being nude for California Girls video, it was really fun to do. We had to do like a closed set because we didn't want anyone seeing anything. You weren't allowed unless you were a girl or you're gay. I think that's probably like the standard for all girlfriends. Anyways, I was really excited to do something like this and really nervous. I remember really vividly kneeling by my bed as a nine-year-old, saying my prayers and asking God to give me boobs that were so big that if I laid on my back, I wouldn't be able to see my feet. Eventually that request was granted. Salary, American Idol, 2002, $25 million per season.